This Generally, conference will now be recorded. It is one interface. It is present in Java dot util dot util package. Okay. This is separate one compared to collection. Collection is different. Okay, but this is different. You can say that map does not map do not inherit from collection interface. Because here we have different methods. If you see collection, right? In collection generally, what are the methods we have? Like add, then remove, add all. Okay. <clears throat> These are the collection methods. If you see map, here we have map dot put get key class long na madhyalo pramudlo ei okay get key get value these are the methods we have in map <clears throat> generally how we are going to store data in map okay you can see this here we have then here we are going to define <coughs> here keys then here values suppose if you want to store any data you can define there 101 then for that 101 roll number we are going to assign student name <coughs> then 102 Then 103 like this it is going to store in key value pair and if you notice right okay each and every key value um, to highlight this okay these two <coughs> we can say <clears throat> this is entity we, we are going to call this as entity or entry okay entry equal to e plus value each and every key you can say one entity this key and value is one entry then another this key and value one entry this key and value we can say as entry now total how many entries we have three entries entry is combination of key value and also okay these keys are always unique it won't allow any duplicate keys okay these keys are always unique you can say this definition as well <coughs> map should allow always be unique keys that means it won't allow duplicate keys 
but values can be duplicated. Okay, you can say this one. Some people they will ask you what is map. You can say this. Okay, it is one interface which is present in Java .util package. Map should always uh, allow unique keys, but values can be duplicate. In map keys, we can store one null value. Sometimes what will happen, right? We need to work with null values as well. Map. We can store one null key, but multiple null values. Okay, while dealing with Excel data, we are going to see in detail with ASMA after starting automation selenium. We are going to see this as well. How to read data from Excel. There you can see the null values as well. How we are going to deal with that. And also you can say map does not follow insertion order. Like set. Okay. In set also it won't follow insertion order. If you are adding any element first, it will print last as well. There is no guarantee. And also, map does not follow the sharding order by default. Okay. And these are the properties you can say if you are even asking, you can say at least in it three points is fine. This is also one important interview question. You need to know. Uh, what is map? What are the implemented classes we have in map? Under map, we have as map. This is one implemented class. Linked as map. Then hash table. What are the implemented classes of has map? These are the classes. Implements map. Because map is an interface. Now mostly we can use methods in map. Here we have put method, then put all, get method, remove, clear, then we have is empty size contains key contains value these are the methods we have Let's create example and try to understand how map is going to work. Okay. Before that, you need to remember these points. What is map? Okay. Uh, it is one of the interface which is present in java.util package. Then map do not inherit from collection interface. Okay. Then coming to collection again, we have different things like list, set, queue. Again, under list, we have array list, link list, vector. But mostly we are not going to use this vector. Okay. Try to create multiple examples with link list as well. Same how we created examples with array list. Then here we have hash set, reset. Linked hash set. If 
few minor differences are there okay you need to know these differences whenever you are practicing then only you can able to understand <coughs> q also we are not going to use max and coming to map you need to know these are the classes we have okay let's create example <coughs> here watch it out we product map exam one here create one class five map always you need to start with caps okay, how we are going to define directly i cannot create like this right map is interface new map what it is saying cannot instantiate the type map why because this is a interface then how can we instantiate we have implemented classes like as map by using this we can create object again we need to import this it is from java.util package map dot put why it is not giving anything because um, be remember always you need to write code in otherwise you won't get any method see inside main method you need to write now we are not getting any methods right let me create main method now i'm going to cut from here and keep here then map dot see now we are getting methods these are the methods we have okay here first one if you want add, if you want to add any elements here we can define it will take two arguments one is key another one value put method uh, here i am going to add key as 101 i am going to add fruits here mm, roll number one i am going to give for orange then i have 102 102 i am giving for apple map dot put here i am going to add if you want to add two key uh, key also string as well okay bit because we did not uh, define any generics here directly we are giving it is a raw type we are not adding any generic see in for generic type arguments it is giving suggestion please add generics but time being i am giving only normal one i am not adding generics grape map dot put <coughs> banana okay these are the elements i added okay how we are going to print the values here directly i can use as map like this this is the right way map we need to give this now if you are going to print it will print the values as it is see orange apple grape banana it is not printing in starting order if it is starting order means it should be printing a here apple here then grape banana okay like this if you see this one right brackets it is printing like this map always use curly brace okay then if you want to get only respective map dot key we have method see get key map dot key here it is contains key okay we are going to check whether it contains key 103 or not 
or 102. Now, if it is available, it will return true, otherwise false. Yes, this key is available. It is going to print the true value. Suppose if I am giving invalid one, <coughs> then it will give the false because that key is not available. Then you can check contains value. Here we need to give the value as Wait. Run as Java application. Yes, it contains the grape value. If I am giving small means, let's see what will happen. False. Okay, it is checking even case sensitive as well. You need to give the same as it is. If you are giving lower case right, it is unable to identify the value. Suppose I want to print this size, how many elements I have, map dot size, it will give the integer value. Whenever you are calling this method, it will give the integer return type. Java application, here total 4 elements we have, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. The, okay, then now I am going to remove data. I want to empty this map. Okay, we have a method mm, map dot clear. Okay, it is not going to return any value. After clearing value, I want to check the then I want to print the values as well and see the difference. Right click run as Java application. See <coughs> earlier we have these four elements, then it is checking contains value grape. Yes, available. The size is four elements. After clear, calling this clear method, again I am checking the size, it is empty zero. Okay, now it is trying to print the values. Already we cleared the data from map. Now we don't have any data, it is printing this value. Okay, and also we have few more methods in map. Okay, this is very important one. Okay, in interview they will ask you. Suppose if I am giving string data equal to selenium, here I want to know the character occurrence in string. Here we are going to get the, we need to print S yes, repeated how many times? Yes, it is repeated only one time. E repeated two times. Then L one time. They will give the output like this. In most of the interviews, 90% they, they are asking this question nowadays. Can you please tell me the character occurrence uh, in that particular string? Sometimes they will give space as well, automation testing. Okay, please notice one thing, okay. They will try to give like, give like this as well. Okay, here we have small t, right? Here we have caps t. What we can do here? Um, first, I am going to convert this to lowercase. Everything I am going to convert this to lowercase. Okay, to lower case. That means it will convert everything to the small. Now easily you can calculate. Now I don't want to calculate the spaces. What can we do? Data dot replace all method is there. Wherever we have spaces, right? I am going to replace with nothing. Wherever in this string we have spaces, I am going to replace with nothing. Then I am going to print as a single string. Like this. Again, I am going to store in data only. Okay, now if you see the 
final data <coughs> what happened here here we have exception oh, okay let me delete this Okay, total we have three. Okay, now there is no errors. Now we convert it to single word, right? Okay, now with without spaces, everything is small. Now you can easily identify how many characters repeated. How we are going to do that using hash map? We can do that. Okay. This is the final string we are getting. That's why we can use generics as well like this as map. Here you can define. Now we are what we are going to do here. We have character. Come up. We need to get the count. These two we need to do. Equal to new as map. Okay. That's why we are defining generics. Okay, some people what they will do, mm, they will give string like this string equal to apple banana bread and apple grape. Okay. Here I want to print how many words are repeating twelve. Okay, here apple is there, right? Let's convert it to the lower case. Then we'll get the each and everything as a lower case. Now we are going to identify the words. How many times these words are repeated and printing? Here, what is the hash map I can define? Here we have strings, not characters. String, comma integer like this based on our requirement we can define these things like this because we are going to get the strings then we are going to get the count as well how many times apple repeated how many times banana repeated okay then some people they will ask you okay uh, what is the most occurrence of character in this selenium what is the most occurrence character we can see here um, you see the output okay uh, for counting also it is taking time right you can simply write the program by using hash map we are going to write condition <laughs> what is the repetitive character then we are going to print that count as well most repetitive character and how many times it repeated more lot of interview questions they will ask using hash map okay can you please implement like this okay we'll see this uh, two examples later okay just i am saying how you need to print these values and also we have important method <coughs> here okay let me remove this this is the map we have here we have another method map dot e set directly i am going to print the values using key set as java application see here it is printing only keys whatever keys we have right it is printing only keys suppose if you want to print values yes we have method map dot values in interview they will ask you can you please create basic um, map and add some elements and try to print 
using iterator using entry set or you can print only values from the hash map you can print only keys from the hash map you need to know these basics methods then only you can able to print if you want to print only keys you can use key set method okay like this then i want to print key as well as value but separately how can we do that here we have okay <clears throat> why they are giving this uh, set right okay it won't allow any duplicate keys that's why it is using keys as a set values you can add duplicate as well let me do one thing let me add will, what will happen if you add duplicate elements whether it will print or not yes it is allowing to print duplicate values if you try to add duplicate key what will happen try to do see it is not accepting duplicate key it is accepting duplicate value but it is not accepting duplicate this like this you need to practice in this way then only you can able to understand what is hash map what is the method to insert values then whether it will allow duplicate values or not okay then whether it will allow null value let just check that one as well Hmm. We will give null okay, instead of this. Generally, we are going to give null keyword like this. Yes, it is allowing null keyword as well. Okay. Whether it will allow null key? Yeah, try. Yes, it is allowing null key. If you try to allow multiple null keys, let's see what will happen. Only one null key it is allowing. If you try to give two null keys, it is not allowing. Two null values, yes, it will allow. Multiple null values. Already we saw, right? This is the definition. Map keys, we cannot store. You can store only null, one null key, but null values. Map should always allow unique keys, but values can be duplicate. Does not follow insertion order. These three things you can remember easily if you are practicing. Let's try with multiple null values and see whether it will accept or not. Yes, it is allowing multiple null values. <clears throat> now I am going to print the um, let me make this now we have we need to print each and every entity as a single unit here we have map dot entry set it will return this set Generally, how we are going to print elements from set same way by using for loop we can print elements But here we have key value, right? What I am going to do? I am going to use Set dot iterator. This is one way we can use for loop as well to print values for each loop you can use But now we are going to see iterator as well by using iterator You can print the elements it will return the whenever you are calling iterator method it will return the iterator interface here java dot you see now we are getting two iterators which one we need to import if you import this wrong one right we need to see the package okay from which package it is uh, giving 
we need to import actually we need to import this one only if you import this what will happen it will give the error type page match cannot convert from iterator to like this you need to import proper one otherwise it will throw exception java.util here we have while two methods we have in iterator one is has next then another one is next method here dot next what will happen if you are using as next method it will return uh, if the iterator has more than more elements until this condition is true right it will keep on calling this method return the next elements in the iteration total how many elements we have now size is 4 right okay yes we have elements now it is going to print this well again it will check yes true it will print all values like this now see it is printing in key value key value key value by using entry set you can return like this key value okay any doubts in this this has map also very important one mostly they will ask okay what are the implemented classes we have what are the properties of hash map if these properties are uh, applicable to any hash map like this hash map also same properties because it is derived from the interface these properties are applicable to linked hash map as well hash table few differences are there try to uh, create the examples then you can able to understand okay uh, if i am giving one one zero what will happen to print yeah see we are adding 110 right first element orange it should print orange right but it is not maintaining insertion order it is giving banana at least uh, we can check it is printing in based on the values alphabetical order no apple will get the first one it won't maintain any insertion order it won't maintain any Chatting order as well. Chatting order means it should display from A to Z. It is not following. Whatever learned, right? These are the examples we saw. Same thing we are going to practice. Practice, then only you can able to remember these things. Okay this this is all about collections we are done with uh, code java concept <clears throat> now if you see the testing right how this testing is going to happen exactly whether it is required testing is mandatory yes because okay so suppose if you are going to joining any any company okay this is the application they are going to give you for testing purpose here what you need to test whether they will inform okay these are the modules if you see this application these are the modules we have best sellers today's deals mobiles customer service electronics home and kitchen fashion books these are the modules we have if you click electronics again we can see the sub modules here under electronics category we have these are the sub modules accessories is one sub module cameras is one you need to know this terminology okay if you take any application this combination of multiple modules here what are the modules you can say uh, if you click here here also you can see the modules mobiles computers okay or you can see here let me take flipkart as well any application 
see these are the modules we have grocery mobiles fashion under fashion again we have these are the sub modules they are categorized to sub modules suppose if you want to buy any mobile by seeing this uh, module name you can able easily identify right that's why they categorize these modules for user friendly now what they uh, did right okay your budget is in this range suppose if you want to buy any mobile from 10 to 15,000 this is your budget again from this again you are looking for brand these are the filters we have okay why they are implemented all these things if you don't have all these options right you need to sit for whole day if you want to buy any mobile instead of that okay they added the these filters suppose if you want to buy four and above then if you want to buy 6 gb ram these are the filters that will uh, give the proper results for us you can easily complete your shopping within 30 minutes one hour okay total how many elements they displayed here 24 products are out of 26 total we have 26 products they display 24 if you see here again they separated to the second page whatever elements we have like this let me remove this clear all okay now how many products we have total 9859 products we have from this i want to buy my designed uh, what is my <coughs> target mobile like 6 gb ram with above 4.4 rating it will take whole day to search all elements right all products okay here we are showing only 24 elements this is pagination they separated to the pagination in each and every page they are going to display only for 24 items like this you are keep on going to search these products and you can search the desired one it will take whole day instead of that what they did they implemented this filter options these are user friendly okay you can complete your shopping by 30 minutes within 30 minutes you can go to office you can go for any, your work they made this work as user friendly that's why people are using these uh, applications easily you can buy the product even if you want to compare you can compare the products as well like this if you want to compare these two products yes you can compare and see here what are the features we have samsung galaxy f uh, here we have 64 and these are the things if you want to compare another product yes you can do like this at a time you can select four products to compare and you can get the better one this is the battery capacity this is the network type 5g okay i am looking to buy 5g right it won't support then time based i don't want to uh, buy this one okay if you okay <coughs> why these bank people are uh, giving net banking okay already they have banks right still why they are providing net banking to the customers Okay, in olden days what happened SBA they started new brands that too in Hyderabad example I am saying okay uh, I want to deposit money right then I need to travel from Kadapa to Hyderabad that is expense right and, and also I need to spend time as well for coming one day and depositing money one day again I want to go back total three days it will take time If I want to deposit money, then I need to travel from Kadapa to Hyderabad. It will take one day time. Then deposit money second day. Then third day, I am going to back to the Kadapa. Time waste and also I need to uh, spend money, right? For traveling and all, those are the expenses. For hotel, I need to spend expenses. What I did, I expanded my branches to the SBA. Uh, like Kadapa, I started new branch, Tirupati. They started different, different branches. Again, in Kadapa, uh, they started four branches. 
based on the customer requirement they started branches till why they are providing this net banking what is the use of digitalization okay uh, sba bank initial first day right i have employees four employees in bank then total 40 members 40 members came to the bank to open new account different different works they are having okay and then deposit money or withdrawal or someone came for dd for making dd and uh, someone came for locker opening okay uh, okay 40 members per head okay they are going to take care of 10 members one employee 10 members okay they are able to manage then customers then what happened after one month now customers became thousand whether they can able to handle only we have four employees right they are unable to handle in single day thousand employees they are unable to do that's why what happened they contacted this uh, software companies then i am going to explain them okay uh, i started one bank uh, name as sbi then i want to be uh, i want to provide one application to my users that is web based application with internet they can access from anywhere one web based application okay through internet they can access from anywhere they contacted to tcs um, wipro infosys these are service based companies they will provide only service they don't have any products again in it we have two types one is service based another one product based if you see flipkart amazon facebook these are the product based companies okay they have their own product and they are they are going to test their own product they have separate teams as well testing and development service based these are the service based they don't have any products simply if any customer is coming okay they will cast that customer okay uh, i gave advertisement i contacted these people I'm having bank. I want to create an application for customers. TCS, what they will do for roads and all contractors, they will do tender, right? Okay. Same as for Atom, this project also software project, they will give the tender. Mm, okay. If you provide one crore rupees, we'll complete to your project. The pro, what they will do? Mm, they will code 90 crores. Sorry, 90 lakhs. Then Infosys, they will go 80 lakhs. Now, if you see the brand, right? Okay, Infosys also having good name, and also they have quality employees. What I will do? Okay, I am getting for less price, and also brand is same. Uh, there is no much difference between TCS, Vipro, Infosys. Few differences only what i will do 80 within 80 lakhs i am going to complete my work i will give project to the infosys then i will inform okay i want uh, new customer registration these are the functionalities or modules then customer login add beneficiary then cards 
I can request for credit card, debit card. Then I can check for loans as well. I want to pay loans. Okay, whatever I want, right? I can tell each and everything to the Infosys. Uh, okay, from their side, they will note on each and every point. Okay, they will inform after one year. Okay, you can come. We'll hand over this SBA net banking application to you. <clears throat> and again, if you see right, under <coughs> registration, what are the values you need? First name, last name, username, email, password, mobile number. In detail, again, will, they will note down, okay? After one year, what will happen? They will complete the project and they will hand over to me. Then what I will do, I will inform to each and every customer, okay? I have this application. No need to come to bank. You can directly go here in net banking. You can do all transactions. Earlier, if you are going to bank, right, old and days, you need to stand in line for whole day. Now, what is happening? By sitting at home, you can transfer money. You can get money. Uh, you can do fixed deposit as well then you can pay loans okay now everything is digitalized even if you take electricity bill early days we need to go and stand it to pay the electrical bill now nowadays we are simply paying from phone pay or google pay from anywhere we are doing okay we are reducing time and there will be no fraud as well directly we are paying to the government Okay, that is the advantage. Why these software companies uh, are established? What work they are doing? Same as it is. SBA, uh, you can take HDFC, Citibank. Okay, these are the projects they completed with these clients. TCS, Wipro, Infosys. And also we have hundreds of companies. If you see Make My Trip, lot of applications we have nowadays. If you want to book any ticket, uh, even for railway also, we have IRL as well. If you want to check PF, everything is digitalized. No need to go and spend time. Simply, you can sit at home and you can check the balances as well. But earlier, why this testing is important? Okay, we have developers where they will do coding and all. Uh, UI, UX developers they have. They will inform, okay? UI, UX designers, okay? In, this is the home page, right? Here we are going to display the products like this. These are the designs by UX, UI UX team, user interface, user experience team. They will inform. Okay, in first field, we are going to display these items. This is the color. These are the products we are going to design. Okay. If you click this, it is going to the particular, right? Uh, these developers, they will write code for this. After writing code, okay, they will give this URL to us for testing purpose. You need to ensure after clicking this, whether I can able to select this item, I can see the product details and I am going to check what is this exactly. I can check video as well. Okay, in detail, I can check here. This is the product details page. What it is showing? 70 grams, okay, pack of 12. How many ratings here? How many people given rating in this? Okay, yeah, this product is good. And sometimes if I want to change the quantity as well, I can do that as well. Add all three to the cart. Mostly these are the combinations people will buy. They are showing this combination as well. This is about product space. Then add to cart. Here I can change the quantity. I want to buy um, 28 items. Yes. I can add add to cart here see in cart it is showing or not we need to check we added total 28 28 right okay it is showing price as well 158 into 28 you can calculate and check update if you want to buy only mm, tool yes we can do that as well you can delete as well these are the things we can check whether it is working properly or not. That is the thing we are doing here. That is called testing. Whatever developers they are writing code, right? You need to ensure that is working properly or not. 
early days what happened right these banks right initially okay developer they will inform yeah everything is working fine you can release the application uh, even uh, in real time it happened like that in usa one of the bank okay they had provided these credentials to the customer what they did they added beneficiary they transferred money instead of going to that particular beneficiary it went to the some other persons okay that means that application is not working properly there is no proper testing what happens okay that person will lose money banks also again they need to pay for that customer because of your application only i lost money you can pay back my money like that again they will take money from second person and give it to the first person again it is time taking they need to identify that person okay headache will be there instead of that before releasing any application you need to do pro proper testing adding beneficiary whether it is going to transfer that money to the particular person or not then um, paying bills as well then pay auto deduct lot of options we got nowadays each and everything okay any application you need to do proper testing some projects uh, even some small companies they are doing big projects as well nowadays nowadays if you see uh, persistent systems they are having good clients banking clients what they will do right sometimes these infosys people okay uh, they will give projects to the some other people if they are unable to handle right they will give projects to the this persistence already they otherwise they will hire resources A lot of process is there okay now try to understand to test this modules we are going to write the test cases click on module mobiles then verify it is going to the mobile space or not here it is going to categorize different uh, mobiles as well made for amazon okay i don't want this filter and check each and every filter is working fine or not if i am going to select one plus it is it should display only one plus products right it is displaying only one plus brand products if it is this uh, okay if i am getting here nokia mobile then that is a defect because i selected filter as one plus but it is showing nokia as well that is not a expected one you can log a defect okay whenever i am selecting this filter it is displaying this nokia here it should not display then if you are selecting another filter and check whether it is displaying these two combination one is one plus and another one samsung then if you deselect this again it will refresh the page samsung will go okay after deselecting this still you can see samsung then that is a defect after selecting it, sh it should add samsung as well after deselecting it will remove like that we are going to test the application you need to try with the different combinations as well okay now we have filter right i will refresh the page what still filter is like that only okay try with different combinations we'll try to break the functionality we'll try with the different combinations as well try to add the product edit the product delete the product update here in cart without adding product and see what are the items we have here these are the things you can easily add if you take any web application right okay you can test like this only if you take any banking application here online sbi net banking this is the one here we have personal banking login then corporate banking login they categorized into two this is for salaried salaried person this is for normal usage new user registration if you want to block any atm card you can do that customer request and complaint okay someone some pro nowadays frauds are happening right okay they will call you sir your card is getting expired uh, you will get one otp to your mobile so that we will issue a new card uh, if you are 
okay you are aware of that means they are doing fraud you won't say the otp bank people they won't ask otps uh, they will do frauds as well if you want to file complaint you can do that as well here then new registration here click ok here new registration form click on next these are the fields from which country india okay we can define here great branch name after entering the particular ifsc code you can get the branch name as well hyderabad i want to get the branch name this is the branch code you will get these are the mandatory fields right uh, suppose if i am not going to give any branch name if i try to submit what will happen select to branch it is giving the alert this is the expected behavior because this is mandatory field if you are not selecting this branch you won't get the branch code and also see here it is not displaying complete branch code this is also one defect see it is defect showing only hyphen hyphen scl it should display like this select branch like this select branch code you can raise a defect like this still lot of defects are there okay uh, 100 percent they won't test it is not possible to test 100 percent max will try to avoid the major defects not minor one uh, like adding beneficiary if you are unable to add beneficiary that is a major defect what is the business they are doing through bank you need to add a beneficiary transfer money then adding loan account then pay loan these are the major functionalities you need to test minor defects are there okay still even uh, this week also one one 19 years old by he identified defect in google he hacked google okay then he had created one defect as well okay this is the defect i identified in google and they offered a job as well him still defects are there only thing you need to know how to test the application for testing application okay you, you need to know basic english for manual testing no need to learn any uh, complex things for manual testing if you are good in english you can able to do the manual testing only for writing uh, for automation you need to write some automation code if you are good in core java concept easily you can manage that's why we completed first core java concept then from tomorrow onwards i'm going to start with selenium already i said link right to manual concept please check that one in that he explained in detail how we are going to test the application then how to write test cases then how to log defect okay from tomorrow onwards we'll start with selenium then see you tomorrow bye